when it comes to how you bring your baby into the world. One of the options for giving birth is either laboring in water um, or actually giving birth underwater. Water births have become a growing option. The University of Colorado College of Nursing Director of Midwifery, Erica Schwartz. And we have this freestanding tub um, out in the middle of our birthing room so that there's access to Jessica at all points in time. So that um, if indeed we needed to intervene for the birthing process, which we usually don't need to, um, that we, we did have a lot of access. Jessica is a midwife at the University of Colorado Hospital. She also decided to deliver her third child in water. My first two labors, I labored in water at home. Um, and then once I got to the hospital, I also labored in water, but I, um, because of hospital policy, had to get out of the tub to birth. But that has changed at the Aurora Colorado Hospital. She can get in here um, for the actual labor and um, for the delivery. She decided to share with us video of her birth so other parents can see beforehand whether it's something that would work for them. I had two wonderful, beautiful children and two magnificent births, but wanted the smoother transition of birthing in water because water for me in my own labors, all three of them, um, really decreased the pain. I think it accelerated the process and it made me feel safe. Um, it provided sort of a little a cave for me where um, I was able to relax better and also just feel more comforted. The jacuzzi is heated between 95 and 100 degrees. It just made the whole experience um, tolerable. <laughs> and, and not only tolerable, but um, the, I mean, the, to get in the, the heat, it, it was more enjoyable. Um, to be very frank, it was the first time that I didn't, um, that my perineum didn't tear um, because of the, the heat and the water, the moisture um, and the heat allowed for more elasticity. And I think it also helped me slow, um, slowly deliver the head so that, that everything could stretch really naturally. There can be some concerns parents face when deciding on water births, risk of infection, and the baby taking in a big gulp of water. Something these experts say are myths. When it comes to circulation, the entire newborn circulation transfers and shifts once the baby takes its first breath of air. And it doesn't take its first breath of air until the baby touches air. So birthing underwater, it still has the fetal circulation and receives all its oxygen through um, the umbilical cord. And infections. There have been a lot of studies internationally that have shown that there is no greater um, incidents of infection. In the end, it's an experience this mom and midwife calls invaluable. To be able to have one of my children be born in water was absolutely invaluable and I love that that has been part of my life experience. Uh, I think it was a really, really gentle transition for my daughter to go from inside my womb where she was living in water um, and growing out and then out into the world and into water. Actually, that is another key thing about water birth is that, is that it's, it's a really gentle transition into the world for babies. Of course, with every procedure, contact your medical doctor. For the Parenting Channel, I'm Vita Urbonis.